What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and the iOS 10, the first beta has been published a couple days ago at the Worldwide Developer Conference and in this video I'll be showing you the top 10 features of the iOS 10. I'm not covering all of the available features, it would be impossible to put them all in one video. Now I'll be showing you just the essential features, changes and useful things of the iOS 10. So the first one is a new feature called Race to Unlock. It basically means that you don't have to press any button to light up your iPhone anymore and instead you just pick up your phone and you just rotate it this way to make it wake up. I wanted to show it first because since now this will probably be the first feature you use when you pick up your phone. Once the screen is on you can see that it is a little different here. With iOS 10 there has been removed the slide to unlock and now you just need to press the home button to get to your home screen. If you have Touch ID enabled just click the home button to unlock your iPhone. If not then you have to click it to get the option to type in your passcode. But it is really buggy. For example, if I raise my phone to light it up and I put it back on the table and press the home button to unlock it, you can see that the screen goes dark for some reason. I'm not sure why it happens, but it proves that we're still in beta. Next thing that has changed right on the lock screen have to be the new widgets that appear when you swipe right. They look really nice and you can easily edit them by clicking this button down here. And up here we get a new search bar. But the best thing has to be the moving clock when you're swiping. The font is a little thicker as well. When you swipe left, you get your camera, which I don't really know if it's useful, maybe it's because I haven't got used to it, I don't know, but definitely it changed there as well. The control center has been redesigned as well. It got round shaped and looks really elegant and the toggles up here stayed at the same place, but the color is now changed and it looks just like on the Apple Watch. And what's also changed regarding to the control center is that now you have two pages with the ability to switch between them anytime. On the second page is nothing but a music player with the volume control and also you can switch to Apple TV to play some music. And if you dismiss the control center and then you come back it shows the page you dismissed. 3D touch has been improved and now it works in the control center too. When you 3D touch the flashlight you can turn on flash with various intensity. The timer gives you an option to set the timer for 1, 5, 20 or 60 minutes. The calculator lets you copy the last result just like on the home screen and the camera icon gives you the exact same toggles like the icon on your home page. The notification center is another thing that has changed. Now there's an option to search for something right in the notification center and you can clear all of your notifications just by 3D touching on that X icon. What I noticed about it is that in certain apps the phone vibrates somewhere in its location while dragging down the notification center. I'm not sure why that happens but it's definitely there. With iOS 10 you don't have to keep the stock apps anymore and you can easily delete them. To get them back, just search for the certain app in the App Store, but it's a little tricky because you can download the deleted stock app even without an internet connection, which means that your phone doesn't delete it, it just makes the icon disappear. And finally, the last one. This is not a huge change, but the vibration when applying the silent mode has changed completely. There's no way I can show it to you, but believe me, it is so much better this way, at least for me. Okay, so these were my top 10 major features and changes that came with the iOS 10. I hope you like this video, hit the like button if you do, subscribe if you like my videos and stay tuned for more iOS 10 videos. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.